Dr. Hubner here, Natural Transplants, and I'm here with our superstar, Tanya. And a lot of people have been watching Tanya's videos from the very beginning when she had her surgery day to where five months, uh, was it five months or seven months? I think we had four, a couple, months. four months, yeah, and then a seven month, Eight, seven months or something, and now it's a year. So this is her latest video at a year, her final result. Tanya, tell us about your hair. How do you feel about it? How do you, how's your life been? It's been great. I love my hair. Um, you know, nobody knows I did this, so yeah. nobody can say <laughs> like, uh, hey, your hair's going in. So no, everybody just always says I have really pretty hair. Good. So nobody knows. Yeah. Um, a lot of the young ladies call me when they want to ask questions and talk to me and things like that. But other than that, no one, no one knows about it. Yeah. Okay, good. So it looks natural. No one's saying that looks unnatural. No one that, that nobody even knew you looked like that before, and they they think you have normal hair. That's correct. Perfect. Yeah. The only people that know is my YouTube haters and lovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of haters out there and a lot of lovers out there. So, yeah. uh, but you're certainly. I appreciate um, you both. I I like both of you. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Um, yeah. Me and Dr. Matt was talking, and we're gonna um, answer some of your questions because yes. I, I did. We get a lot of YouTube hits. Um, I guess yeah. my ad pops up at a lot of places, so yeah. Um, he can't answer all of your questions because he doesn't have my hair. Yep. Um, a lot of you young ladies want to know if you can get a relaxer. First, I want to say I don't do anything unless the doc tells me to. Before <laughs> I do something, I call him first because. Right. You know, you girls are thinking with my ponytail, um, you were saying I'm going to take my hair back out. I'm, I'm going to take my edges back out. Ponytails don't take out edges. Nope. Number one. Number two, if you were listening to my video, I was explaining that my hair was not pulled back in the ponytail. Not my, excuse me, my transplanted planted hair. Right. It was just laid down. Right. It wasn't, it was not any tension on that part. Right. She just sprayed it and laid it down. I right. just, my, the type of hair texture I have, I can do that. Yep. A lot of people can't, but I can. So yep. no, I was not putting any traction on my hair. Yeah. So if you get this procedure, remember, don't, don't do anything that's going to pull it on right. a, on a constant, on a constant basis. Um, right. I told him, Dr. Matt, we talk all the time and he was explaining to me that anything I do, I need to do it in moderation, yep. but don't do anything that I'm like you know, pulling. Yep. You know, so that's common sense. Yep. I would never do that. I didn't do this and come this far to take my hair back out. I so, agree. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. How does it look on the other side there, Tony? Can just for your other oh, yeah. viewers, maybe we could show. So listen, let me show you guys how long it's. Yep. This is so that's all new transplanted hair. hair. Yep. Okay. And so yep. you can see that. Yep. I don't know how good it's going to show, but my hair you know guys my hair was long so if i i can do anything and it just blends right in see right. yeah so see i just blended that that short part yep. back in it you know yep. your hair grows like a couple of inches a month or whatever so yep. remember it was gone yeah so this right here is just my hair brushed back now mm -hmm. that my hair is a certain length you know i can brush it back yep. you know what i'm saying yep. i can brush it and back. look at that edge now you have the sideburn there that wasn't there before that's all recreated no, yeah none, none of that was there yeah. yeah. If you guys remember, all of this was right. gone. It was all gone. Your forehead um, was twice the size. You were, you know. Yeah. It affected you. you guys, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, some of you think that my hairline looks fake. I promise on everything. <laughs> this is my hairline. <laughs> Dr. Matt didn't make me one. No. That's he your old hairline. Back, yeah. Right. Back in the day, it's, I had for some, I have an apple head, guys. It's a wild <laughs> circle. So my hairline, literally, the way God made me, it's, it's that's this is my hairline. He just took it and and stuff. You can because remember, I had a little bit of hair, so he was able right. to see, you the, know, where to put the it. The remnants so, of your old hairline were there, so we could see exactly where it was. Yep. So, yeah, right. but but not to say you couldn't lower it anywhere you wanted to, but that's just that's natural. That's as natural as it gets. That right. location which comes to my right, which comes to my next. You know, we, me and him talked for a while. A lot of a lot of you guys are asking, can he lower the hairlines? I, I said it last time, but he can. He literally asked me if I wanted it lowered, if I wanted my hairline changed, and I told him, no, I want my natural hairline because you know I didn't yeah. know what it was gonna be. Right. But as you can see, whatever what he did, he is awesome. 
because look, he blended. You see how the part was short, but look, you can't even tell. Yep. I just have my hair in this style. This is the yep. style I wanted to wear this week. Yep. Awesome. What other questions are you getting? Anything else you want to answer on the on the video? Um. Yes, I'm going to disappoint most of you probably because you were begging me not to get a relaxer, but guess what? <laughs> I got one. <laughs> I, know I'm, I know my haters are going to go crazy. Um, <laughs> But a lot of ladies was asking, can they get a relaxer? So again, yeah. Yeah. I asked my doctor yeah. and he told me, he told me I didn't even have to wait the year, but right. guys, I just got the relaxer last week. My right. year was up on the 28th, yeah. but I'm going to tell you, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, and it is hot as fish grease here, <laughs> okay? and it's really humid in the afternoon it rains. So it was really hard for me to take care of my hair, like the, what I do for a living, the certain look that I, I had, I couldn't do it without a right. relaxer. So right. Right. Um, that's why I did it. My mm -hmm. hair is still nice and healthy. Yep. Um, I know how to take care of my hair. A lot of you think I I do know how to take care of my hair. Um, mm -hmm. The years of the braids were over. And yep. uh, um, I see seeing some of you arguing about the braid thing to each other. As you keep wearing braids, your hair gets thinner. In, in the in the in the nape the nape area, yep. it gets thinner. Yep. And if you don't stop, you will have tractional alopecia. Again, to make myself clear, I'm 40. That's how old I am. I was wearing braids in my 20s, mm -hmm. all in my 20s. Yep. I wasn't. It's like I, I just was cocky, like oh my hair go back when I saw it thinning. And then I I have identical triplets. Um. And I was 33 and I had got these micro braids and I was wearing them the whole pregnancy. I was so lazy. I didn't want to do my hair. And when I took those micro braids out, my hair was like, bye bye. I, that's it. I've had it. So <laughs> that was that's it. when it started getting like, like you couldn't, I didn't even realize it pushed it back and this yep. just, it fell out. Yep. Yep. Um, I stopped getting relaxers because I thought that, but you know, and I started going to dermatologists and I was doing all kinds of stuff, rubbing things on. But once those hair follicles are dead, it's gone. It's yeah. dead. You can't do yeah. anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another question yeah. Dr. Matt asked me to address was you, you girls are asking about um, if your hair is falling out in the, in an area, can he transplant the hair? And if so, will it fall out? The answer is no, because listen, this part of your hair is one genetic trait, gene, mm -hmm. whatever. The back of your hair is a different genetic. That's why a lot of men lose their hair in the front yep. and they have hair in the back. So what? when he takes that hair out of the back and puts it in the front, it's a completely different genetic. So you right. can't, your skin, your the pulp that he puts in, it grows out of that. Right. So... I know it's hard to understand, but a lot of phone calls I've gotten, have, they ask me that like, well, aren't, isn't your hair gonna just fall right back out? Right. And that's not the case. The reason why I know, because I researched it and then I yeah. got my good doc here yeah. because of the the, the the number of views we're getting and the questions, right. like he has to teach me right. how to answer your questions and show me what it means. So and when young, young ladies are calling me from all over the world, they, they're like, I don't get how that's, that works. Yeah. And what it is, he literally puts a completely different genetic hair graft from the back to the front right. and your hair starts growing out of it. So now like this hair right here is not the same hair texture as it was before. Yeah. This hair is now the hair texture that is back here. Yeah. So it's thicker. It's the same hair, yeah. All you're doing is moving it from the back to the front, and that hair is resistant to any genetic changes that you may have. Because a lot of people don't only have not only have traction alopecia, they have kind of thinness up up the top because it runs in their family. So by taking it from the back, you're basically solving both problems. You're not, you're you're putting that there, and that's there for it's a, for good. So even when you're older, it'll still be the same thickness. So right. yep. And think about it like this. Remember how he's saying he can change your hairline. You don't grow hair on your forehead. So, yeah. If, by him changing your hairline and that hair is growing like that, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's right. because he's he put it inside, right? And that's what right. it's growing out of. So right. hopefully I've answered that. Yeah, I've answered the ponytail question. I answered yep. the relaxer question. Yeah. Um. So yes, young ladies, you can get a relaxer. You know, try not to get it within the first six months. Yep. Um. Even the doc said I could, but 
you yeah. know, from my experience, I'm gonna tell you this. Your, your hair is still growing and adapting and like it doesn't all grow at the same time. Like it, it, it it's growing, but you still, like right now, uh, Doc told me that six months from now, it's still, it'll still be some growing. Um, that's not going now. Um, yep. I still might get a certain percentage, probably within another, what you say, six months to a year or something like yep. that. Yep. So it's constantly growing. So just try yep. to try to wait it out. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. To kind of see. Natural is the best way. Natural is yeah. the best way to go. So less is yeah. more sometimes. So yeah, it's just where I live. I, I, I think right. if I was up somewhere where it was always, you know, yeah, medium temperature that I could have made it, but. Yeah. Constantly getting a blowout and that's just damaging. Yeah. So yeah. I'm the type of person I go to the stylist every week. Yeah. Because of this weather and things like that. And my stylist, she's she takes care of my hair. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, I, okay. I'm I'm confident that I'll be fine. But I just yeah. wanted to answer those questions. Me and the doc were looking at all the YouTube um, comments and things like that, and we talked about me answering some of the questions. Um, uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You 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 guys have been asking about that that suture, the cut, you can't even see a, I, I, first of all, I don't have keloid skin, so right. that's, that's, that's important, right. So because I don't have keloid skin, my, you, my style, she can't even find my cut. It's almost like it has disappeared, seriously. Yeah. I had my husband digging through it. He was like, man, I, you will only see my cut if I probably shave bald. Yep. Because the line is like completely, yep. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> Years of experience. That's what. That's how you do that. So, so yeah. but it's not an issue for you. It's not like you're losing any hair in the back. It doesn't make any difference. Right? No. Oh, someone. Um, one of the young ladies. I have a lot of women that call me, so I don't. I won't say any names. But one of them asked me about the hair growth in the back and the hair growth in the front. Yes, the hair growth in the back is faster. Like my back part is like this long mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. Where he shaved it. Yeah. You can't see any. Um. Like you, it, it just looks like my hair. It, you can't see like a line. Right. Uh, she asked me if you could see. You can't tell anything. It's right. just you can't tell at all. And it, it has grow. It, it grows quicker in the back for me. That's the way my hair grows. My hair mm -hmm. in the back grows quicker. Yep. Um. So it, like I said, it's it's long in the back. It's almost this much to where my real length is. And the front, yes, it's growing slower, but it's growing. But like my stylist is like, oh my gosh, it's growing so fast because remember it was bald. Yeah. And and when he started it over, it had to break through the skin and start growing. So, you know, yeah. but as you can see, you can't even tell it is shorter because how the hair is, it's just blending very well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to wear it all back. So I wanted you guys to be able to see that you can wear your hair. I could do whatever I want to yep. it now. So yep. and I'm very happy. You can bring I'm it back in a ponytail. Easy. Yeah. So that's, you can do whatever you want. You're back to norm, back to where you were before. So. Uh -huh. Awesome. So a lot of you wanted to see what it looks like after a year. It does. And again, I'm going to show you. The doctor told yep. me to make sure I'm showing you yep. what. It, and remember, I have a relaxer. So this is amazing right. to me. It didn't thin it. Right. It didn't make me look like I had little. No, it, it yeah. is perfect. Yeah. So that looks um, great. he wanted you to see. And this, I just have this brush back and tuck right here. So yep. that's um that's it with that. Cool. Um well, thank you so much, Tanya. This has been very yeah. informative. You have a lot of fans now. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I went, uh, I'm going to put some pictures on there, too. I'm going to see if Tanya can maybe send us some pictures we can put on there as well so you can see a little better. But, um, okay. Thank yeah, you. I'll, send, I'll take some. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tanya. And, um, you know, I think maybe in the future, every once in a while, we'll maybe address some questions people are asking you on YouTube and whatnot. Oh, definitely. You know, it might maybe easier to do it this, on this format. So, me and the uh, doc made a pact. See, he said, as long as you guys keep asking questions and showing, he'll call me up and I'll answer the questions. But I'm sorry if I didn't. It was yep. so many questions, but those are like the main ones. You guys, I promise you I'm not going to take my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll be following you up to see. So, <laughs> awesome. All right, Tiny, thank you so much. Bye, hon. Thank uh, you. Talk to you later. You got it. Okay, bye bye. bye.
Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.